Hello folks, this is the RV Grand Blackwater system. I want to show you we put two tanks of fresh water in this J. Cole trailer. I want to show you the tool is completely full. See that water right there at the top. We also did the same with the bathtub, but we used two fresh tanks full of water. We'll go outside here, I'll show you how this dump bucket works. All in live time so you can see it all working at the same time we're gonna dump everything at once show you how this works we got the dump bucket we've got a stone all around it we got 13 buckets of stone and we're going to put it in the hole we dug we got a little trench here for tile to go to a field or whatever if you need to here we go we're going to take the dump bucket system and here's how you want to gauge your hole. You want to make sure you take the bucket and you put it in sideways, okay? Dig the hole deep enough so you can put this down there like this, all the way around it. You can see like that, it's perfect. Then you can dig a hole like that and you're going to take and dig it about four to six inches lower than the ground. And we're going to put a little bit of stone underneath it for drainage. And I'll show you what we're going to do. We'll get it ready. Let's get some stone in there. Dump some of the stone in here. See how this works. Level it around in the hole a little bit. A little bit more down in there. That should be good. Good. Even jump down here, we'll kick this around. Okay, we've got a layer of stone down there. We're going to put our RV dump bucket in. We're going to put the inlet here. From, the, from our flexible hose, our flex hose from the RV itself. I'm going to put it on the RV dump bucket. Then this here, what this does, we're going to plug this into the outlet. Okay, we're going to screw that in there about four to six inches. Then we're going to lay it in this trench right here. That way, if this ever fills up, you can use this. You can add on to it. You can go 100 feet, do a septic fill, whatever you want to do. But here we go. In live time, we're going to try to get this all done for you. So we got buckets. Try to get that in the center. It doesn't have to be perfectly level. There's lots of holes in it, okay? So we want, yeah, probably two or three inches of dirt on top of it so it keeps the smell down. So we'll take these buckets and we're gonna put this around the dump bucket. I got a couple there, so we go on this side. Whoop, there we go. This doesn't want to be perfect level. There we go. I'm gonna put that hole right there where the tile is gonna go in there. Then we put 13 buckets in here of stone. Just guesstimated if that was gonna be enough, we're not real sure. You take this bigger stuff, put that in there also. Try not to get it in the holes when you dump the stone in. Now it's pretty secure. So we're getting close to getting the fill. Looks like we'll have enough, that's for sure. Now what I'm going to do here, put a little bit of small stone underneath that, where I'm going to put my outlet. You want to try to get the stone underneath it, right where it's flush with this, so when you put the tile in, it doesn't 
the ground settles by here, it doesn't sag at all. It stays nice and strong. Because this will be your outlet. If it overflows, it'll run down that three inch tile I got right here, which I'll put in right now. About four to six inches, you want to put this in there. Just screw it in here like that. And it'll screw right in. There it goes. Okay, we screwed it in there. That's a three inch tile, right? We're in there four inches, roughly. There we go. There we go, now we're, we're in there six inches. So we got that in six inches. This is the inlet. So we'll hold this down a little bit. Put some rock on this. Put her down. And this outlet tile, this is sock tile, corrugated, which means it's got holes in it. Get it from Home Depot or anywhere, easy to get. That's why I'm using the most common stuff, the easiest stuff to get a hold of, because the supply chain is terrible right now. So what this will do is it'll give us extra drainage. When this tank fills up, it's gonna fill right up. All the water will spill around it. It's gonna go in this three inch tile all the way to this end here. And I just taped the end, sock tile, so no dirt gets inside it. I'm just gonna leave it like that, put more stone in. So if we ever use this system to where it's saturated, which means it gets full of water, doesn't drain anymore, and that's when you wanna hook up your tile and run to a new little field. That way you don't have to remove your tank, leave it right there, it'll still drain in that area, but it's also gonna use your new septic field or wherever you go with it. So it looks like we've got a lot of extra stone here. I'm gonna get this stuff in here. Try to do this quick, folks, so you don't have to be bored on the video. Again, you try to make sure you got stone underneath this thing nice so it doesn't settle and bend this pipe and it cuts it off and leak from off. Cuts it off and draining it off. Oh, it's dropping. Can't get my hand in there, so I guess that one stays. One little pebble. Ain't gonna hurt it, but when you're in a hurry, that's what happens. I'm going to put this just where we're about a couple inches of dirt on top. All this rock is just good draining. I'm going to place them in there so you're not sticking out of the ground. Some of these may be too big. I'm going to place them in there the way you want. going to hook, we're going to hook our tile up, our flexible hose, our three inch flexible hose that we make. We're going to hook it on any, it hooks on any RV, clicks on there, that easy. This is a five foot uh, piece I believe. We're going to put this in there like that. Okay, that way it's hooked up. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up the gray and black water, like I showed you in the trailer earlier, it was completely full in the toilet, and then I used two fresh water tanks, which is probably 60 to 70 gallons. I'm not sure how many gallons it is fresh, but 60 to 70 gallons are in this. So we're hoping we're going to fill this up, 60 to 70 gallons coming through here. Then we're just going to rush out. We're going to leave it uncovered for now. Open everything up to see if the water comes to the surface. And it'll start running down that pipe. Then we'll show you that, then we'll shut it off if it is overflowing. But that's what I want to kind of show you how this pipe works for a reserve plus the water that's around the tank that disappears. And this tile can just be level 
or just a little bit of about an inch flow, you know, going that way. Here we go. I'm going to open up the black water first. Show it right here. We're close, buddy. So black water, and you can hear it. You can hear it for sure, right? You'll listen to that. And I'm going to open the gray water. And I'm going to put this little log here just so it's full of water, obviously. So it's a little bit easier on it. Obviously hear it drain. We got different size hoses and whatnot. Um, it smells when it's coming out into the tank, but when it flushes into the tank, gets to the surface, and you got a little bit of dirt on top of it, it doesn't uh, smell anymore and it just goes away completely quick. Now this this here is our other one we had in there for about two years. And that's just a five gallon dump bucket, RV dump bucket. That is completely saturated. I'll show you what a saturation hole looks like. That quit draining. This one did, so that's why we put this new one in. Okay, here we got water coming up. See the water? Now we're going to stop it just before that, okay? So, like I said, that was about 70 gallons of water. 70 gallons of water went through this 15 gallon tank. RV dump bucket. Like I said, that was two fresh water tanks full of water. Now it'll fill like this full of water, then it'll drain. When you dump two fresh water, like say 70 gallons in there, it comes to the top and then it dissipates and it disappears after it drains down a little bit. It'll probably take, you know, a couple hours and then we'll be able to open that up again and get rid of the rest of the water that's in there. But if you got any questions, folks, 512-461-2760, 512-461-2760. Again, this is the RV dump bucket. I'm leaving it exposed so you can see how the water comes up. Went through that 15 gallon RV dump bucket, blew through there, filled the stone around it, underneath it, and then our tile we put in there. Now, what you do, if I ran this tile a little further, right, you can run this tile to a field and do a little five by five field with stone in it, and that'll be your drain field. After it fills this area up, it'll run to your drain field. It's just like a separate field. And if you just dump about 30 gallons at a time, you'll be fine. But it'll take a couple hours for this to go down. And then I'm going to show you saturation hole. Okay, now here, this one, this five gallon bucket, I'm going to take, pull this up. This is saturated. I wanted to show you this. This has been here for two years on and off, and the ground just got so wet. That's called saturating the ground, where it just gets so wet, it doesn't drain anymore. It does even drain. This is about the worst soil you can get. This is all clay. That's terrible stuff. It don't drain. So that means you just got to get an area big enough or more stone in it and you can get rid of you know 2,000 gallons at one time if you want to put two gallon holes with the stone in there so we'll go to this bucket and I'll pull this one up and it'll be I think it's gonna be wet because it's not draining anymore that's why we put this new one in and then we can take that tile that three inch tile we hooked up to the new one but we can take that out and go anywhere we want and put a new field in I'll show you this here I'll pull this one up so Come down the hole here, show the hole here, buddy. See, this is stone that we had down in here. This has been here two years. All the stone, you can see that, but the ground's not draining anymore and it's taking longer. And I wanted to put a uh, tile in so we could run to a septic field and you can use thousands of gallons at a time if you want to let them go out of the trailer. But anyway, that's the way she goes there. But that's a saturated hole, folks. This is the five gallon dump bucket that we have. But we're gonna cover all this stuff up. So what you do is take you can take this bucket up and you just rinse it off, disinfect it, and you can put it in your RV, put it in a bag, you know, a black garbage bag or whatever, disinfect it, and you bring it to the next campsite or job site. You can do the same thing for these 15-gallon ones. We got a few buckets laying around here. But that's the 15-gallon. We get up to 60 gallons, I believe. But anyway, folks, that's the whole shot. Everything you need to know about an RV dump bucket. Any questions, 512-461-2760, 512-461-2760.
what we also do folks is that fabric I'm going to show you something this fabric here just take this lawn fabric and you put that over the stone put this over the stone and then it covers up so you don't have any water or any mud leaking through basically like this I'll do it quick lawn fabric you want to cover everything up so you keep the dirt separated from the stone so here we go on this we're gonna unhook that make a little hole here like this lawn fabric it's easy to work with and you just hook it right back there you go and then you want to put your dirt on top of that again this leaves a barrier between the stone and the dirt and you cover that up and it'll, it'll cover the smell up too anyway folks this is the RV dump bucket gray and black water solution all in one video hopefully it's not too long take care folks thank you